look at me You assume I am easily definable You put me in a box You want me to be your designer ball But there's luminescence to me Everyone, it's Alexis And today I'd like to show everyone How I got this lovely vintage retro 1920s style look. Um, my usual makeup looks are often very inspired by the 1920s and the 1990s, like I did the 1990s look last week or last time, whenever that was, Wednesday, oh yeah. But um, I'd like to show you how I got this lovely 1920s inspired look, which I've just done now. So, so. I hope you like the video. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done my foundation and concealer and I have lightly contoured since I've noticed contour wasn't really a thing in the 1920s, but they did more contouring with blush. So I'm going to be using um, this eyeshadow for blush because I don't have a blush in the colour I want, but I'm going to mix it with the... Let me just get it... I am going to mix it with the slightly warmer toned peach blush Melba by MAC and I'm just going to put some of that there and then I'm going to sweep it up onto the temples I've noticed that being done a lot in a lot of 1920s looks but it's something I like to do anyway and I'm doing the same on the other cheek blush is able to make a nice contour and give some shape to my cheekbones and so it doesn't look like I've just splodged it on I am going to I am now blending it out with my wet beauty blender And since I'm not happy with how uneven it is, I'm putting a bit more blush on that cheek. Next up is highlighter. I'm using my cute little spoopy skull highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I'm using a shimmery white liquid highlighter for my nose. Just get a bit of that on my finger and I am going to dot it on the tip of my nose and put it on the bridge of my nose just so my nose is lovely and defined and looks nice and complements the very light contouring that I've been doing and I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender so that it doesn't look too sharp and so that it looks as natural as it can look and now I'm going to be using this shimmery white cake or powder whatever highlighter and I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to put some up there put some yes and put some on my chin and on my jaw I'm using white because very pale skin was a thing in those days and the reason why I only contoured lightly was because my contour does sometimes try and act like a bronzer however much I diffuse it it's really annoying since I prefer looking paler and I'm putting some on my cheeks and I'm joining it with how it swept onto my temples just answer diamond shape I've really liked doing recently And now I'm going to take a slightly sparkly highlighter, my lovely Diamond Bomb from Fenty Beauty, just to give my highlighter a bit of extra sparkle because this is a very kind of party 1920s look, slightly avant-garde and slightly kind of fancier than most looks were. So I'm adding a bit of sparkle to it, putting it over all the highlighter that I've already done, just to give it a bit of pizzazz, make it look a little bit snazzier.
Now I'm going to put a bit of setting powder under my eyes. I'm just going to get it on the puff and I'm just going to just blending my highlighter out a bit with my beauty blender because I wasn't quite satisfied with what I'd already done. So now I'm going to smooth out the concealer under my eyes with my hilarious face and just puff on some of the powder and then get my big brush and just sort of dust it so that it looks nice and blended out and just putting a bit more sparkle highlighter on my cheeks because we want this to be a lovely sparkly look using my fingers so that it can sort of like there can be more of it not lost like on the brush and now my face is done onto my eyes and I'm aware that bit of hair was out of place the whole time that you don't have to comment about it saying "Ooh, Alexis your hair looks really bad I know yes so please don't mention it and so I put on my Urban Decay Potion Eye Primer my holy grail product that I always use just getting a bit more comfortable and now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip into this matte black shade in the two palettes I'm using here are my MAC Rocket to Fame Frosted Firework palette and my Bobbi Brown Smoke and Metals palette. So now I've, here I've got the MAC palette and I'm just putting on some of that matte black um, along just below my crease and kind of sweeping it out to the outer V, the outer corner and I'm just going to smoke that out a bit once I put it on I know I look a bit like a panda at this stage but I promise it's going to look really good when it's done and I'm just going to blend that out and smoke it out a bit and make it look all smoky and sexy And I'm going to put some of the black under my eyes and soften it a bit, smoke it a bit. And I'm pulling my hilarious face that I pull whenever I do anything under my eyes. And next up, I'm going to go into my Bobbi Brown Smoke and Metals palette and I'm going to select this bluey, grey, dark, blacky slate colour and I'm just going to work that over the black just to give it some dimension. It's ever so slightly shimmery, so it'll add a bit of shimmer to the colour too. put that under my eyes too just blending that out again smoky eyes were really popular in the 1920s so I'm doing a real smoky eye look and then I'm going to dip into this slightly lighter slate colour in the MAC palette as well as this bluish purplish mauveish iridescent blackish colour which I really like and we're just going to put that, sweep away any fallout with my big fluffy brush. And we're going to put the mixture of those two colours to lid nearer the outer corner. But, um, and blending that with the blue-black colour just to start the lid area. It's ever so slightly dark, lighter than the other colour because we want to sort of emphasise the lid a bit. By the way, I'm at no point am I saying this is really an authentic 1920s style. I'm just saying that this is inspired by the 1920s. So please don't get at me being like, "Ooh, this is not a 1920s style. It's a modern take on the 1920s makeup. And then I'm going to go into this um, lighter, shimmery, fawny, mauvey colour. And then we're going to put that on the inner lid to just like sweep it across the lid to blend it with the other colours. And again, I'm just sweeping away some fallout. Pesky fallout. And I keep just involuntarily pulling that hilarious face whenever I do anything to my eyes. 
trying to look prettier but I look hideous when I do it and I'm putting this pale mauvey pinky beigey colour nice and shimmery on the inner corner to make it pop like people do so that it almost makes an ombre effect along the lid slowly getting lighter as it goes inward then I'm going to take some of that fawny colour again shimmery in the and in the Bobbi Brown palette and also that iridescent colour in the MAC palette and put it just above the where the smoky eye starts just to blend it with the top of the eye and then we're going to take this shimmery white colour and we're going to put that along the brow bone just to highlight it And then don't forget to blend the edge so that there's no sort of harsh lines and so it looks all nice and soft and smoky. Blend, 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 blend. Make it all soft. We don't want any harsh edges. And still adding a bit of that fawn color on the edge so that it blends in more. And there, my eyes look very nice now and still adding a bit of the shimmery white on the brow bone I never seem to be satisfied like Angelica from Hamilton and now I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil and I'm going to do my eyes especially my eyebrows especially straight because they weren't really very much into archers in the 1920s like I do with my skinny eyebrows but they're often a bit more kind of like the 1930s or the 1990s like I did last time so I'm just doing a light nice like straight pencil thin brow for this look very nice And now I am going to just find it because I am so disorganised. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner from Fenty Beauty and I'm just going to do a simple eyeliner which is the way I usually do it. And now I'm going to take my mascara and as usual I start by doing the bottom lashes because they're the more difficult ones and now I'm doing sweeping it on the top lashes.
and that's my eyes done and now I am taking a dark plum lipstick and I am doing a very doll like shape on my lips taking a while to be able to get that perfected they very much liked lipstick as a kind of little heart in the center in the 1920s it was all very small rather than kind of emphasizing the size of the lips and I've noticed they often really liked dark lipstick they liked having pale skin and dark eyes and lips to really emphasize the eyes and lips so I'm just making it nice and small and heart shaped but also red lip sting so you'll see what I am going to do next there you go that's the start of my lips and next up I'm going to take this red lip gloss I'm going to put it on mainly the centre of my lips just to add a bit of a reddish tinge to give it a real 1920s look. Each time and then maybe Sorry, I accidentally pressed my YouTube vid the YouTube video I was watching to play, so I'm just going to leave that in as a boo-boo. And then I'm going to put a bit of highlighter on my, on my Cupid's bow. And there we go, that is the finished look. You have a good look at it. And I was about to finish the video then, but I realise I forgot to do setting spray. I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, just spraying that all over my face, fanning that dry. And there we go, that is the finished look. I hope you like this video, and I hope you liked it. Bye!